What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working on the C10 and we will be installing the hot racing four millimeter steel drive stub axles for the SCX24. That was a mouthful. So here is my C10. Um, we're on episode 21, I believe. So we've come a long way. In the previous episode, uh, I installed, uh, well not the previous episode, but a couple episodes back, I installed these RC4 drive one scramblers. They're pretty big and so they're rubbing against the body. So then I trimmed the body. So now we're still rubbing, so um, we have the need for the axle extenders. And so I've, I've already done a video on this um, product before in the past. It was on the yellow Jeep. If it's in that video, check it out right here. But uh, I like it so much and I kind of need it right now for this build. So I'm just going to do a little refresher on it and uh, keep you guys updated with the build. So the first things first, we need to remove the body and take off the wheels and tires. So let's do that. If you've been following along with the build, you might be like, hey Miguel, why don't you just deep dish the RC4 drive one inch wheels? And I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to do that, right? That's kind of cost efficient, don't have to spend any money, it's pretty simple. But I have the full send wheel weights back here and I don't want to see uh, this brass. I mean, it doesn't, it's, I mean, it's not appealing to me. Um, I just don't like the look of it to be kind of projected outward with the body looking like that. I just, it takes away the scale factor for me. So that's why I like to keep it like this. But um, yeah, that's why I didn't deep dish RC4 drive wheels. I mean, if you want to see a video on that, let me know. Maybe I might do it one day. All right, so now that the body and the wheels are off, first things first, let's open up the hot racing um, axle extenders to see what is included. All right, so it looks like when opening up that little package, I kind of cut myself. So always be careful with your tools, boys and girls. You never know what might happen. I really can't feel it, but uh, it's there. Always always have a rack. All right, so let's kind of break down what is included. So here are the longer axles. Um, the longer ones are for the rear. I mean, it's pretty simple. The long ones go in the rear. The front ones go, I mean, the short ones go up front because they're shorter. You need to turn them, that's pretty simple. And this is where I made the mistake in the previous video. So there's a couple different things we got going on right here. So these guys right here, these guys are spacers. So the axles are gonna get extended. So you kind of need a spacer to kind of um, fit into that gap that's created. So that's what these guys are. So there's four of them, one for each corner of the vehicle. And then there's these screws and these screws are flat. And so these screws are important because they're gonna go back here on the rear axle because uh, I don't know how to explain this. Um, the wheel is gonna hit against this axle right here, this axle piece right here, and these this hardware right here is kind of rounded, and so it'll hit the wheel if you don't replace it with this flat hardware, which will make it flush, and so that'll reduce the binding. And then here we have some spacers, not spacers, I mean shims, I, maybe they might be called shims, I'm not too sure, but there's four, so I'm gonna put two on each side of the rear to also reduce the rubbing. So that's kind of just an easy breakdown of what is to come. Uh, for axle extension upgrade. So now, this is the easy part. Um, so these two screws right here, one on the rear axle, one on this side, one on that side. And it's exactly the same on the other side. You have to undo those two to get to the inner workings of the rear axle. So that's what I'm gonna do first. All right, and so there is the stock axle out of the truck. It's pretty simple uh, to install the new one. So we're gonna first remove our pin, set that to the side, and then we're gonna remove our bearing. We wanna keep that, and then we'll just put our old axle to the side for our parts bin. And so now we're gonna grab our new axle, which is quite a bit longer. As you can tell, hot racing on the right, stock on the left. We grab our new axle, we grab our bearing, slide that on, and then I'm gonna grab two of these shims, one. Oh, crap. One shim. Two shims onto the axle. Then I'm gonna grab one of these spacers, pop that guy on, and then I'm gonna grab my pin, put that guy in. And so there is what uh, I call a completed uh, rebuild. So now we're gonna put that guy into the axle. It should kind of wiggle around for a bit and you'll feel it kind of pop in place after a couple jiggles. So that's in. 
then we're going to grab our new hardware and we are going to insert it into uh, the axle to hold everything into place. And I just realized that I don't have my small fill-up, so I need to go grab that real quick. Alright, so here is my little micro fill-up I use for my glasses, so it's kind of coming in handy in the RC world. I'm going to grab that. Very, very small. Oh, they provide you with five of these screws, so in case you lose one, you got an extra one, thankfully. Uh, so hard. Okay, and so there is everything reinstalled onto the truck. So it's the two screws on the ends, the shims, right against the axle, and then the spacer, and then you put your pin, your pin in, and now your axle is extended. So now you're gonna do the same exact thing in the same exact order on the other side. So now we are here up front and we need to remove these steering knuckles to get to this little axle right here. So it's pretty simple. There's a screw up top on the steering knuckle and a screw down below on the steering knuckle. So I am using the Wear 1.3 hex. If you're, if you're interested in a quality tool that can be used to kind of work on your SCX24, check it out. Link is in the description. pops off like that, pretty simple. You can kind of just get the axle right here, kind of keep it connected on one side, pull your old one out, and put your new one in. Make sure not to lose those bearings. Here it's in there snug. Line up your dog bone, and kind of just reinstall it real quick. So let me warn you before you kind of put everything back together, um, when you put it all back together, um, the screws that hold in the steering knuckle, the one up top and the one down below, if you over tighten them, they will create binds. So you have to make sure when you uh, tighten it to kind of go back a couple turns because um, later on your steering will be greatly affected if you don't. So now I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side and then we'll get it all back together. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the hot racing axle and the stock axle, like I said earlier. Just a little bit shorter, but that does make quite a difference down the road. So uh, yeah, pretty freaking awesome. Don't forget to put your spaces up front like you did in the rear. And then we're gonna grab our pin. Slide it in there. Now you're all set. So now we just gotta put on the wheels and tires and then the body and we will see how much more added a uh, clearance we got. Okay, so there is the axle extender on the CX-24. You, you can kind of see the space right there and the added room it kind of provides um, on the truck. I was having some issues with it rubbing against the shocks up here up front. The subscriber recommended to me um, that I flip around uh, the shocks because you can see there's this little kind of reservoir up front. And so they're all faced towards the rear when you get the truck and he recommended that I put it up front because I was rubbing back there. And I mean, it did work, but then I started rubbing up, not up front, how the hell the heck did that work? I forgot what happened. But uh, he recommended that I kind of switch them, flip them, so they're facing the opposite directions, which it did work out. Um, so I'm also doing the extensions, the actual extenders to kind of even further that. So now I just gotta put on the body and then we will see how it performs. Okay, and there is the truck. Just by looking at it, I can tell that the tires and wheels are kind of sticking out a little bit further. I'm kind of liking the look. It looks more off-roady kind of now. Um, yeah, it's freaking awesome. I definitely, uh, when I turn it on, let's see. Turn it on. It's on already. Um, when I turn on the remote. I don't know, let's see. Clearance there, clearance up front. That servo is definitely working. Let's see up here. No rubbing, no rubbing. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's see how it actually performs. Here we are on the Impala. So in the previous episode, well, past two episodes, um, when I would drive, it kind of three wheel. So let's see if that happens still. Uh... 
Okay, so there definitely is still body rub. That can be trimmed away, of course. Oh, damn right, I'm three-wheeling it. But I'm not rubbing against the inner shocks anymore, so that definitely did help out. All right, so see when it does that? Oh, no. When it kind of makes too sharp of a turn, it kind of rubs. I don't like that. Okay, so there is still some body rubbing, but I'm not rubbing against the inner shocks like I used to. So yeah, I call that a success. Overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, the extenders. I should have um, kind of compared it to what it was before to after. I always get too excited to kind of do the before and I'm always doing the after. So I got to work on that, on my video producer skills for sure in the future. But overall, like I said, hot racing mod, axle extenders were dope on the Jeep. Now they're even more doper on the SCX24 C10. So uh, yeah, guys, let's see what happens next in this build playlist. I will see you guys soon.